The reality is that they've actually looked at the area under the curve of using this different parameters such as the SpO2 over FiO2 ratio, respiratory rate, and flow at predicting whether a patient needs to be intubated or not. And here they found that the ROX index is superior to those at 12, 18, and 24 hours. One of the issues that many people have with the hypronasic cannula system is that they feel like they're flying blind. And this is where the ROX index comes in. So the ROX index is an equation. It's the SpO2 over FiO2, and you take that and you divide it by the respiratory rate. Now, you have to put these numbers into the calculation correctly for it to work. For example, the SpO2 has to be a whole number. Then in addition to that, the FiO2 needs to include the decimal. But the most important component of it is the respiratory rate, that it needs to be accurate. It cannot be 18 to 20 like people just copy paste in the chart. And this sometimes includes you having to go to the bedside to actually count the patient's respirations to plug this in. Now, or you could go ahead and just plug it into your med calc that now this is accessible for all of us. But how accurate is it at predicting the failure of hypronasal cannula and the need for intubation. But the reality is that they've actually looked at the area under the curve of using this different parameters such as the SpO2 over FiO2 ratio, respiratory rate and flow at predicting whether a patient needs to be intubated or not. And here they found that the ROX index is superior to those at 12, 18 and 24 hours. But what ROX index predicts a decreased need for risk of intubation? And here, a ROX index of greater than or equal to four predicts a decreased risk of needing mechanical ventilation for our patients. So if you use this ROX index of 0.488 at two, six, and 12 hours, and if it's greater than 4.88, the patient's most likely not going to need to be intubated. And this is something that we could use in our emergency departments, in our uh, step-down floors, where we now have high flow needs cannula accessible to us, as well as in the ICU.